how do you think you get the perfect cuppa every time? You know what it's like when you're late for work and you're trying to get the kids ready for school. Do any of us have time to think about what's gone into our breakfast? Which one of these produces yoghurt? Um, don't know. Um, the sheep. What about that one? Why not? It's no uglier than any of the others. It's a bit hairy. <laughs> how much butter is in peanut butter? 90%. 90% butter. I'm going to reveal the secrets behind breakfast by making it food factory style. Lord. There are thousands of products to choose from in the supermarket, but most of us wouldn't have a clue about what goes into making them. So I've set up my own food factory inside this barn to find out what they're doing with our food. It may look as though it's full of junk, but in here there's everything I need to discover the secrets of supermarket food. First on my breakfast menu is peanut butter. Lovely on a bit of toast, packed full of energy. But how much energy and how many calories is in it? How many peanuts do you think it's taken to make a jar of peanut butter? 45. 500. Thousands. 2,000. 2,000? 150. 150. <laughs> How much butter do you reckon's in it? Probably about 20% of a block of butter. Oh, not much. What is in peanut butter? To find out, I'm going to make my own. And it all starts with these. Monkey nuts. And inside are peanuts. First job is to shell loads of nuts. I could hire some monkeys, but they'd eat the lot. So I'm putting together my very own peanut sheller using two flower pots. I don't like cutting your bottom off. This ingenious invention is based on a design used in African villages, but I'm adding my own pedal power upgrade. Now, how this contraption works is that I'm going to drop some nuts in between the two flower pots, and as the pedals turn, they rotate the flower pot. Because they're made of rough clay, they should crack the shells. Hear that cracking? Here we go. Look at that. 